so Writester um, uh, works obviously in the video distribution space. Uh, hugely um, uh, exciting market right now. Um, you know, Informa expecting it to be 37 billion by 2017, and um, still very very complex. I think you know we've been talking today about. Um, programmatic buying. I mean, there are so many topics to master yeah. in the space of video. It's global, unlike traditional TV, um, where a content producer would distribute to a limited number of channels in a mm. particular country. Mm. The the people producing content, creators, rights holders, um, are now faced with this in, in incredible global market, different devices, etc. And um, that creates a problem because mm. they don't typically have those skills in house. Uh, and so Rightster was set up as a B2B cloud-based service um, that automates the distribution and monetization to thousands of different sites. Um, and we do that uh, on behalf of the rights holder, the content producer, but it also helps publishers as well because they can source content. Um, we, uh, uh, we've, we've been doing all right. We've, we've grown the business sixfold in the last 18 months. So uh, we were doing about 22 million uh, monthly video views in the first half of 2012, and we're now at about 160 million monthly video views. Um, in the first half of 2013. And we're the first, um, uh, right, Rightster is the first YouTube MCN, which is part of our business, distributing to YouTube to go, uh, to go public, went public yeah. yesterday. You must have been quite preoccupied this week. Congratulations on uh, the IPO. Thank you very much. You raised 20. Took a little bit more than a week. <laughs> well, sure, <laughs> sure. But um, you've raised 20.4 million pounds. That's correct. Yeah. Um, what's the rationale? Why, why do you need to do that? Uh, so Rightster is in um, a, what we would think of as a scale business. Um, you know, the, the opportunity is obviously global, uh, but there's a substantial technology investment required. And obviously, like most technology businesses, you want to um, get as many customers on there as possible. So there's a couple of things. One is our 360 distribution platform that distributes both to the content producer's own site, mm. to publishers, and to platforms like YouTube um, is a big investment. And so we're, uh, we're continuing our heavy investment in, in the software development. Uh, secondly, we're, gro ro growling, we're rolling out a, uh, a global footprint. Um, and we're already in 10 countries. We have about 200 people um, across those 10 countries, but there are a lot of places that we aren't yet present. Um, and the final thing is uh, we're looking at some acquisitions. So uh, we announced we're in discussions um, with a number of potential targets um, already. And there are, there are four areas that we're looking at. Um, one is companies that will accelerate our access to customers. Okay. Uh, the second is uh, companies that will give us uh, additional footprint globally. Uh, the third thing is companies that give us specific expertise that we're missing. And the final thing is accelerating monetization. Right. And any deals to announce here today? N nothing to announce today, but they're, they're, you know, w when there is, they'll be uh, on your table first. <laughs> well, it'll be at the London Stock Exchange first now, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but you know, so. Take, take me inside the life of an MCN, a multi-channel network. You know, you are offering upload once dis distribution to a range of video platforms. How you know challenging is it working with perhaps moving goalposts? You're working with YouTube. It has its own business. You're working with all these different distribution partners. Yeah, I mean, so uh, it, it is. It's a complex space. I mean, we work with more than. Um, uh, one different platform, so mm -hmm. YouTube is the dominant one, and you know they, they've made some incredible progress. But I think, like a lot of these social platforms and video platforms, um, they're innovating and they're trying to figure out exactly whether it's what data is collected mm. or what the advertising model is and their revenue model is. Um, they're all evolving, and uh, we can't tell them to stand still. But it does mean that what you need to do to be successful on a platform like YouTube changes. Um, and they're also experimenting with different advertising models and revenue models themselves. So um, we think that innovation is very important. Um, you can see it in the viewing numbers and the engagement on YouTube, which has uh, grown substantially. Um, uh, but it, it, it frankly it provides even more reason why a content producer needs a partner like Rightster to manage not just that complexity, but the other six and a half thousand sites we distribute to. So in terms of you know the, the value of <coughs> online video for advertisers, there's this question of um, viewability. Mm -hmm. um, turns out many of the video views out there are fake, uh, generated by robots, uh, up to 40%. Um, I saw some statistics recently. Um, you know that that's important as, as regards um, how you view um, video advertising for your for your clients. So. But and yet, as a as an MCN with all these you know these multiple touch points, you're going through several different. What did you say? Several thousand um, mm. endpoints. Mm. Um, 
How do you end up, you know, considering viewability? Because I presume you are at the mercy of the viewability mechanisms on all those different endpoints. Yeah, that's a good question. So at the end of the day, a brand's got a goal in terms of, you know, we talked earlier about effectiveness, um, that, you know, they want to, in that case, VW sell more cars. Um, and when they come to somebody like Rightster, they actually are looking at a mix of things. Mm. One is um, the association with the content, so people can target by the content um, type across all of those sites, which mm. is quite an interesting way to buy uh, the media. Um, the second thing is around the publisher, and we actually partner with the publishers that we distribute to, and they, they typically co-sell. Sometimes they actually do all the selling of the advertising rather than Rightster. So um, we have that flexibility built into our model. Um, and then in some <coughs> cases we sell. But we actually see the hybrid of being able to offer um, the ability to buy against the content, against the publisher, and programmatic, often to, to achieve a larger audience, actually is a very exciting thing. Um, in the, um, in the viewability stats, I'm not familiar with the report that you're referring to. Um, certainly a lot of sites um, uh, historically did put video at the bottom of the page, but mm. not on autoplay, so somebody would have to scroll quite a way, a way through the article um, and then click on the video. Um, uh, a lot of the units that we have are above the fold, but there are obviously some units that are below the fold, and if there are units that aren't being seen that are autoplaying, clearly those should be identified. So, I mean, so right to operate uh, publishers online video across a, an array of lifestyle categories. Um, yeah. When it comes to programmatic, you know, super targeted, automated advertising, d does that excel in any particular of these lifestyle categories? So we started in fashion. Actually, a um, big part of our business is live streaming, uh, which is a, a very interesting um, side of this, um, this right. industry. And live streaming fashion, we catwalk shows, is actually a relatively um, niche um, space to be in. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Then we moved into news, sports, entertainment, uh, viral videos. Um, and we, we distribute and run the biggest viral video network actually on YouTube with you know all the, the, the classics that you would have probably heard of, Charlie Bit My Finger and The Sneezing Panda and mm. so on. Um, and in news, we represent a lot of the biggest news networks. Um, one of the benefits of being across all these different um, genres, content genres, is the diversity of the data um, that you can contribute. So. Uh, we currently integrate with uh, Spot Exchange. We're working on an integration with Videology um, so that people can programmatically buy across Rightster's network. Uh, but some of the most interesting things, going back to live streaming something like Fashion Week in New York, um, uh, Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week um, is, you know, had good viewing numbers. It was a couple of hundred thousand, then we grew it almost 100% each six months. Um, but most recently, we were able to amplify it um, uh, and, and build an audience that was 10 times bigger uh, by combine, combining uh, a sale which was against an audience type, against the content, an association with the content, and some of the publishers we distributed to. And I think that's a really exciting space um, in the future. Um, Casper, I mean, what's the value of a multi-channel network like, like Rightster to, to advertisers? Does it uh, remove a lot of pain points, or does it, does it make things more, more complex? It's a good question. I mean, I, I think the um, you know, one of one of the obvious benefits, as we talked about before, is that um, you know we're very interested in more quality content against which we can align our advertisers. Um, and so, you know, if there are multiple, you know, well-executed distribution points for good content, um, that obviously helps resolve that problem. You know, and um, you know a lot of the advertisers we work with, especially within WPP, uh, although they're very interested in the programmatic space to the extent that they want to reach an audience, they don't want to completely let go of the environment that they're in. Um, and certainly in the video space, they want to be very careful about the types of content they're aligning themselves to. Um, so anything that maximizes the opportunity at the top of the sort of brand safe in, in the sort of brand safe area, um, I think is 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 um, it can only be good. 